Hey there, want to dive into web development with Symfony on your Windows machine? You're in the right place! In this quick tutorial, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to install Symfony and get everything set up seamlessly. Whether you're a beginner or just need a refresher, stick around till the end for all the tips you need to start building amazing applications with Symfony. Let's get started. <laughs> To install Symfony on Windows, here's what you need to do. First, make sure PHP is installed on your system. As Symfony requires PHP 8.1 or higher. Next, install Composer, the dependency manager that Symfony relies on. I've included links in the description to help you download and install both PHP and Composer. Once you have them set up, you'll be ready to move forward with Symfony installation. Let's dive into the steps. To install Symfony and create a new project, simply run the following command in your CMD. Composer Create Project Symfony Skeleton 7.1 Asterisk, my underscore project underscore directory. If you want, replace my underscore project underscore directory with your desired project name, and Symfony will handle the rest, setting up everything you need to get started. Then command cd name project. Then, the command composer require web app is used to add the web app pack to your Symfony project. This pack includes essential packages and configurations for building web applications, such as Twig, Symfony Security, Symfony Maker Bundle, Doctrine, Symfony Encore. It's useful if you initially created a Symfony project without the web app option and later decide to add web application features. Open your Symfony project in Visual Studio Code. Open the terminal inside VS Code. Run the command phps localhost 8000 t public this starts a local server allowing you to access your application in your browser at http colon slash slash localhost 8000 and that's it you've successfully installed symphony on windows and started your first project if this video helped don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more tutorials happy coding